because there is a need to detect fraud, waste, or abuse in federal programs without obtaining the approval of the agency hierarchy, the inspectors general took their case to Congress. And as Jeff Green predicted for us, Congress strengthened the authority of inspectors general late last year by enacting the Inspector General Empowerment Act of 2016. Under the new law, the federal inspectors general, while conducting an authorized audit, investigation, inspection, evaluation, or review, would be exempt from one, privacy protections that require agreements between agencies for the use of computerized matching programs to compare records under the 1988 law, and two, procedural requirements for information collections under the Paperwork Reduction Act. Well, as I mentioned last time, I think, I think it helps. You know, any, anything that helps get the information flowing better is, is a good thing. Um, but again, it's only a step. It's how well it gets implemented and the collaboration between the auditors and management needs, needs to go now. It's not just passing the act. I mean, one of the things we're, we're seeing, and we're seeing it right now for a lot of the environment that we're in, a lot of the uh, political appointees um, are not from inside of government. They are not familiar with the role of the inspector general, what their authority is, what their mandates are. So, you know, the act helps define that and helps speed up the process. But again, as I think we talked about the, one of the prior sessions as well, it's getting, it's getting those meetings set up. It's, it's educating the new people coming in on what the IGs are, sort of doing that IG 101 seminars and letting them know, you know why the IG exists, what, what their mission is, why they do the t different types of audits that they do. I mean, everyone sort of understands financial statement audits, but that's just, that's just a piece of it. So I think the act will, will help. I think it moves us in the right direction, but as with most things, you know, it's how it's implemented and again that collaboration that needs to exist between the auditors and management is really the key to make the audits work better.